Need to restart the recording now, real quick. Right, so I've got top pair right now. They are both going to call you. Wait, did you say one of them was an eight that came out in the flop? No, it was a uh, queen heart, six club, four spade. Okay, so yeah, I've just got top pair. They both call. Roll the check. Mm. Ooh. Turn is a queen of diamonds. The same blank expression on his face raises a hundred. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Other guy's gonna fold. Guy you beat, or the guy you're having the back and forth with, he's gonna call you. So, one more check. Uh, River, eight of clubs. Let's see, I'm in 350 right now. Mm -hmm. Leaves me with 250 that I've won so far. I'm back. And if yeah, you I'll raise your, it. Huh? And if you remember your cards, you should be really happy right now. Yep, yep, I'm raising all in 250. All right. He's going to see you. And he uh, flips over queen five for three queens. Hmm, oh, sigh. Richard turns over his queen and stares the man dead in the eyes and turns his eight over on top of it. He just stares. How? Walk of the draw, Sai. You had to have cheated. Richard tits, tips his head, hat back and his tits. eyes narrow as, as, as he says, I don't cheat, Sai. I don't need to. But how could you get a full boat on the goddamn river? The cards Sounds fall as they may. <sighs> to prove his point, Richard unsnaps the sleeves of his trench coat and rolls them up to show nothing on his arms. He's just staring in disbelief. Get good? <laughs> I only said it would be a chance, Sai. I never said you would win your money back. Ugh. Flip the table. <laughs> he pounds his fists on the table and just storms off. Dealer looks at you. Another game? <sighs> looks at the other man at the table and says, Well, do you feel like going head to head? Nah. <laughs> he looks at the dealer and says, I guess that answers our question.
<laughs> All right. Enjoy your winnings, sir. Tips his hat to the people at the table and goes to cash out. We are now up a thousand caps. What? Is that on top of the 500 I originally took with me? Yes. Give me that paper. Sweet! Puts me at 3,700 total. <laughs> yeah, that's when Zarek walks in, notices, notices Richard. Yeah. Walks over, goes, Oh, hey. Break in. <laughs> doing well. Doing well. Yeah. What brings you in here? Uh, I, thought I, I thought I heard the smugness of victory, and I decided, hey, Richard's in there. <laughs> There's nothing no smugness about it, Si. It's just... It's what happens when I play cards? I've just come to accept it. Okay, Vic, I have to ask. Did you save that picture? Because I kind of saw your screen. No, I was uh, saving my new uh, my sheet with the new cap total. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, but no, in all seriousness, I'm, I'm kind of looking for directions to... Uh, Local scrap, local scrap area. Need to, eh, need to like bring in some more things to sell. Might as, might as well go get some scrap to working on. Also a new tool, new toolkit. Kind of broke a few tools. <laughs> I like that picture. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's why I had to ask. It seems yeah, like no. you would save it. <laughs> Frankie's advice. Well, as it appears, there's no one else in here who really wants to play cards with me. As soon as that happens a lot when I go out, well, I'll help you look for one. Cool. And, uh, and, yeah, don't ask me. You already know why. I, you, you know I don't gamble. No, of course not. There aren't many people in our group that do. <laughs> my, my care, like, Zarek looks at you, slowly pulls out his character sheet, points at the gambling stat of 0%. <laughs> Meta, everybody. <laughs> pulls out the double-headed coin that determines his luck. <laughs> Wait. Why is the hub migrating south? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm kind of, okay, I just noticed that. Who in the world is messing with the hub? <laughs> Douglas! It's gone south for the winter. <laughs> <laughs> They're rich enough. Right, give me just a minute. I gotta get some more water. Cool. So, yeah, with Richard and tow, Zarek goes to find a scrapyard of sorts. Okay. Right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Since there's not one in the game, so this would have to be ad hoc. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> what are the chances a scrapyard sells a tool set? Uh, decently high, I'd say. I'm trying to think of what I would want to have you roll for that if you're. <sighs> Uh, asking people around town. What, what are you looking for? Tool sets? Yeah. Uh, uh, scrapyard. Uh, scrapyard will have a uh, tool set. I would say that there's a scrapyard outside town where they moved all the cars that were broken after the, uh, you know, whatever. Well, the cars mm. are what make the wall and stuff in junk town. Uh, the ones that aren't in the wall. Yeah. <coughs> That will have like car parts and, well, very little in the way of working car parts, but plenty in the way of uh, car bodies, if that makes sense. Mm. Hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, let's see. Hi, everybody. What? Mm -hmm. What'd you do? Nothing. 
Fun, wonderful, wonderful win. Cool thing. What did oh. you do this time? <laughs> Coros just say. <laughs> yeah, can't be fucking friendly. Fuck you guys then. <laughs> friendly to you is worrying to me. I want to see shame on you. Shame. Douglas, you sound like you're asleep, dude. Yeah, Douglas, you sound like you're actually sleep snoring. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. And I've heard it. I, I've heard it. We've all heard it. I think I found uh, that. I return. Okay. All right. Uh, the croupier is going to look at. Uh, what is your character's name? Zark. Okay. It's kind of like. It's kind of like. A, I thought it was chaos. A, a chaos. Well, that's his. That's his sign name. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like you can say chaos is there, I don't care. Well, Croupier is gonna look at Zarek and say, Well, I think there's a scrapyard over outside the town on the east wall. Oh, thanks. Run by a guy named Johnny. My character now has a song stuck in his head. Shut up. <laughs> All right, Richard. Let's go to the east wall and uh, see what see what crap what, what crap the scrap has. Sounds like a plan to me. I got nothing else to do. Hey, right, so you go We're outside gonna... the uh, you go to the east wall of the city. Will they end up bumping into me on their way over there? Uh, no. <clears throat> because you're at Darkwaters. He's in the middle section of town. Oh. They're in the uh, Gizmo's Casino area. Oh. Filthy mouth breathers! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. If it were any other besides Douglas... I'd have yeah. a problem. I, I should go to bed tonight, really. <laughs> you, been, you been up all day, then? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, well, I, I got caught out of sleep. I'll give it one more try. <laughs> give stay awake one more try or snoring sleeping? Uh, I'll give it uh, stay awake one more try. Uh, did you get your cup of tea? Uh, no, but I will do shortly. Okay. I'd say go do that while uh, me and uh, Victor, me and Victor, scrap with them. Yep. Okay. So you go to the east wall. <clears throat> there is a small shack in front of a large pile of junk, leaning right up, piled up against the eastern wall. Oh, lovely. Yeah. And there's a guy sitting in a chair right out in front of the shack. What you happen to be, Johnny, good sir? That's me. Right. Uh, two, uh, two requests, if you can. What do you want? Uh, one, do you have a tool set for sale? Uh, let's see here. Mm, high, low. Hi. Uh. Ah. Well. It would be funny if it was a one and the dice had a middle finger out. <laughs> yep. Saw my sold my last tool set last week. Might be able to make a tool set tool set if you dig through the junk long enough, but. Yeah. Well, that was the next request. Might we go? Might we go looking through the junk? Oh yeah. Go right ahead. Nope. Just point out stuff you want, and we'll see if we can agree on a price. All right. Uh, we'll bring you a shopping cart. <laughs> What's a shopping cart? Uh, look, looks over. That thing over there points at a shopping cart. Oh. That'll be extra. <laughs> <laughs> did your did your dog just talk? No. That was my crazy grandma. 
Oh, Damn it, Sonny. Don't scare away the customers, Grandma. Bah! Can't fucking tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you young whippersnapper. <sighs> All right, Richard, let's get to work. And, uh, remember, <sighs> don't touch anything that looks like it. It'll look rusty as hell. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay a visit to Jed. Yeah, true, true. Oh. You know, unless you want to jump high. Uh, 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 I'm good. <laughs> hmm. All right, so I'm just gonna start looking through. Uh, gonna start looking through the junk, seeing if I can find a things for a tool set, and b random scrap. Th things that would look things that you could easily make into uh, weaponry of sorts. Okay. Oh, and three uh, gun like gun parts that people were stupid enough to scrap. Okay. Uh, which one you want to do first? Uh, tool set? Yeah, let's go tool set. Uh, let's see. How about an outdoorsman roll for that? Outdoors? Yep. BRB. Go, go. <clears throat> yeah, let's see here. Let's go. Slash roll. Bullshit. Eh, you're not finding any suitable tools. Yeah. You just find lots and lots of old porno mags. That's not junk. That's valuable. <laughs> I know, right? It's kind of like, wait, who the fuck threw these away? Fortunately, <laughs> all the pages are stuck together and you can't open them without ripping the pages. Ew. Oh. <laughs> Richard's going to look for any kind of useful electronic junk. Yeah, I'm going right. to go ahead and give it another try while he's doing that. Uh, let's see. For the electronic junk, how about a science check? That's what I figured. One sec. Uh, Richard, you find a doohickey. No. <laughs> what is this, Space Quest? Yeah. <laughs> I found a what's it. <laughs> uh, no, actually, you find what looks like a Geiger counter. Oh, well, those can always come in handy. Uh, what kind of shape is it in? Can I tell, or...? Uh, it's pretty rough looking. Hmm. Eh, could come in handy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, oh, yeah, we're taking it. All right. And, uh, Zarek, you're still not really being able to find any tools. Eh. Uh, outdoorsman for tools? Uh, well, I guess I'll help out. If this works, I swear. I'm going to be pissed off. Well, especially when you see what I'm rolling against. Nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you have no luck either. I, uh, I, reach in, I reach into my pocket, pull out a Yu-Gi-Oh deck, and I pull out a spell card, summon, summon Alex. Um, hi. The card doesn't work. <laughs> All right, if I'd have rolled like a 10. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, you know what? You can't call You can't call me on your pet boy or something? Yeah. Hey, Richard, you got his number? Oh, I mean, it's just a radio frequency. I suppose I could do that. Three eyes are better than... Apparently, three eyes are better than four. Even though my my eyes are kind yeah, of that, fucked up. That math sounds like it's going in the wrong direction, but okay. 
Yeah, he'll uh, he'll send a message to Al to Alex through his Pip Boy. All right, I'll let him know that I'm on my way. I guess. <laughs> And with the new set of dice, with the new set of dice, looking at the old set of dice, quivering in fear, knowing that if they fail, they're getting the hammer too. I'm going to try once more. And... <laughs> I can't grammar. So, Alex, you're now making your way towards Richard? Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> you come to the shack. Johnny sees you. Addy, looking for something? Uh, I was going to help. My f you're, look you're looking for two morons currently swimming through junk and going, you find anything? Nope. Okay. I was going to help some other... I was, t I was here to help some of my friends look for something. Uh, does one of them wear a funny-looking hat? Uh, funny looking. Richard hears this. <laughs> Do I just look Heard over and see Richard? Uh, let's... You hear this painting sound slowly getting louder. <laughs> uh, he wears a different looking hat. I won't exactly call it funny. Wide brim. Trench coat. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're in there. Okay. Like... Zarek looks at Richard. Richard, put the gun down. Don't do it. <laughs> and then I'm thinking about it and it's like, no, go ahead, kill him and his grandma. We could probably get a lot of scrap for free. <laughs> Come on, we don't need it. Heads I fire, day. tails I don't. Flip stool, double headed coin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get all you can carry to, this, to the deuce. Alright, so what are you guys looking for? Currently, we're looking for tools. For Fucking look for tools. God fucking damn it, where are the tools? Right. You find a wrench. <laughs> I find a wrench? Yes. A uh, working, workable wrench? Well, it's a bit rusty, but yeah, it's workable. You could uh, probably scrub it clean. Sweet. I put... we... I'm just looking for anything valuable as well as the tools. Can we say as like a joke, my character found a toolbox, got all happy. Yay, toolbox! Opens it up. Empty. <laughs> One rusty wrench. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. You find the toolbox with the rusty wrench in it. And it breaks in half as soon as you pick it up. I'll kill you, Rubbity. I will literally kill you. So what's that outdoorsman roll against, Lib? 38. Uh, you find half of a pair of pliers. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Welp. <laughs> <laughs> Richard finds himself outside. So, Richard, Richard, for some reason, you find yourself like you you find. Ooh, actually, you find your you find right in front of you a very hungry junkyard dog looking at you and sizing up with uh, as a pork chop. Richard just stares at the dog, going, don't make me draw. You actually find a full set of tools nearby that uh, empty toolbox, or almost empty toolbox. In a, in a nice toolbox? <laughs> no, they're just scattered around. Oh, okay. So, like, a lot of tools scattered around. Yeah. It's kind of like, ooh, starts throwing. Enough for you to make a full set. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, <laughs> ooh piece of candy. Exactly. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> what I found? Um, I love that 100. Uh, well, uh, Lib, uh, you still, are you looking for tools along with us? Uh, well, I was, I was sort of looking for that. I was also looking for just generally anything valuable. Hmm. Well, anything that would catch my eye. Well, this is liberty we're talking about. I was going to say, that's kind of vague. You find a BB gun. Anything valuable that no one has noticed in the last 350 years. <laughs> <laughs> you, find, you find a, sir, like, 
unique uh, repairable, but not yet working BB gun. Eh, missing a spring. <laughs> yeah. I'll get out of... Uh... Hey, Butch, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> He's working for Penguin. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Anyway. So... Thank you for that. All right, so I got my... Actually, let's say Alex finds a collection of uh, parts that could be used for gunsmithing. Nice. Oh, nice. Since he rolled so well on that. I'll, I'll grab him and... Put him in the cart? Yep, I'll tell Zarek about it. Oh, nice. You probably need these more than I do. Oh, yeah, those would be nice. Those would be Anything else you want to try and look for, or is the is Rich, is Richard still looking for electronic stuff, or no? Well, well, he found a Geiger counter. Yeah, I think I've pretty much tapped out with that. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I just came to help you guys find the tools, and since you already did that, I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I, I just have one really important question to ask: hmm. Is there a scrap metal in this scrapyard? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> no. Uh, You're practically tripping over scrap metal. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Whether any of it's good or not, well, that's up to you to decide. Because some of it is bent, some of it's rusted. Well, all forms of scrap metal is actually useful. Because mm -hmm. in the forge, fire doesn't care. Yep. But let's say... I know, it made me so many promises and it broke all of them. <laughs> you find what you think might have been a stop sign, but it's been shot through with bullets. Nervous is up. I slowly turn my turn my face to look at look at Richard. <laughs> what? I was, it wasn't me. Those are twenty two holes. I shoot a forty four. You know, that's actually a you think 22 can go through a stop sign? <laughs> Maybe How naive are you? Yeah. Uh, this is probably going to go... Like, I Depends how far away you're shooting from. from what kind of metal are stop signs even made out of? Steel. Yeah. Some, uh, oh. Steel or aluminum? Steel. Yeah. Aluminum would rust out too easily. Well, based upon how easy the bend they're to bend out here, I would say. Oh, uh, well, they're made of eighth-inch steel. Eighth-inch carbon steel, I believe. Mm-hmm. All right. How about this? I roll my repair skill in order to see if there's anything useful out here. Okay. I can help with that. Same here. Repair. That's this sledge hammer. That's versus a thirty-seven. That's versus a thirty. Well, we did better than the repair monkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not yet a repair monkey. Huh. And not uh, you, you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible items. <laughs> Gotta think about this. I'm gonna find a good. I'm gonna go find a good, good set of percentile dice. So otherwise, I'm gonna run out of dice. <laughs> Let's see, repairable items. Uh, let's see, lib. I. You find. 
a surprisingly still intact metal helmet. Just huh. the uh, padding. yeah, the padding has worn out. Is there a bullet hole through it? No, <laughs> though the uh, glass visor is gone. Not yet. Mm-hmm. Shh, that was my second question. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Richard. You actually find a pistol frame. Nice. Mm. Yeah, what type of pistol? Uh, it's just the frame. He can't really tell. Is it a heavier light frame? Like he means? It'd be an automatic pistol. Ooh. Yoink. <laughs> you know, it just occurred to me, one, one thing on my mind. Mm-hmm. Damn it, we need Owen. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, he's, he's busy doing his workout. Well, if he hadn't gotten himself banned from Junktown. Yeah. Eh. Damn it. Alright. And I take it I find scrap. Yep, more scrap. Cool. Hey, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just take a few pipes. Some, uh, like anything wood and some, uh, sheet metal. Alright. Like some old two by fours? Yeah. Yep. Do the whittling knife and some two by fours, you can make a stock. Yep. I mean, uh, Alex will probably grab some wood, but just for carving in general for his. Yes. No one is surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your haul. You want to keep trying to scavenge, or are you satisfied for now? I'm good with what I got. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I got my toolkit, and I got enough scrap in order to make some weaponry on the nights. All right. If we don't run into raiders, I'm just like, you know what? Yoink. <laughs> so you wheel it back to Johnny? Yup. Ah. Got yourself a nice looking haul there. Eh, pretty decent. Yep. Let's see what we got here. Starts picking through the stuff. Ah. Someone actually wants this thing? He holds up the Geiger counter. You never know when it could come in handy. Mm. I'll just sort of look at that and look down at my wrist and then look back at that. Zarek and Richard share glances of like exactly how little they would probably have to do in order to get that thing working. Yeah. He just looks at it saying, well, maybe you can find a use for it because I sure as hell don't know what it is. Yeah. Okay. Zarek, it's like <laughs> if Richard was about ready to talk, Zarek's hand was about ready to go over his mouth. <laughs> I was about to say a word. I don't even know if this thing turns on or not. I've never tried it. Uh, well, we'll figure it out once we get it back to the workplace. Yeah. Uh. You can have it for one fifty. <laughs> Rich, Richard's like, what? Now, what is your barter skill, Vic? Thirty-four. Oh. Uh, However, is that with or without the uh, little bull trick? It's with. So Richard says, well. 
You know, so I, I'd like to like to show you a trick that uh, might might give you a little insight on the price. What's that? And he takes a shell out of his belt and he holds it up and he says, "You see this shell?" Mm -hmm. And he puts it between his fingers and he starts walking it back and forth between them and says, just keep watching it. Mm -hmm. Nah, everything looks fine from OBS. It's, yeah, it's not giving me any problems with the audio on this end. What the fuck, Avalon? Yeah, Avalon was having problems with the delay, but... No, the thing that he posted. No. That's just <laughs> Avalon being Avalon. Yeah. Uh, so as he's talking... They're flirting with Douglas again. He, um, he says, you know, 150 caps for something that you're not even sure whether it works or not and don't even know what it is just seems a little outrageous, don't you think, Sai? Oh! Sneaks it in! Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. I was waiting for, to see a hundred. Yeah, nah. I may not know what it is, but I know it's got some uh, pretty technological components in there. So... I don't think I can waver on that price. Does it look like it's been opened? Mm. Not that you can tell. All right. In that case, he keeps walking the shell between his fingers, and it's starting to move faster and faster to the point where, uh, as it comes to the edge end of his fingers, it seems to float in the air and disappear and then reappear going back the other way. And he says, Sai, you haven't even examined this. You don't know what's inside it. A little bit better. This is what I get for having a two luck. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. How about 75? That sounds acceptable. All right, 75. What else you got? Tease the toolbox, looks inside. Ah, I guess it did have an extra set of tools back there. Indeed, took a little time to find them, but, you know. Yep. You gotta understand. It's a big mountain of junk back there. I ain't got time to be looking through all of it. Oh, no, no, I'm not blaming you. Uh, mm, about 40. Hmm. Sounds reasonable. All right, 40. And 200 for just a random scrap? Let's see here. That's, uh... All I found was the helmet and the BB gun, right? Yep. I've also got the pistol frame. Yeah. Yeah, 100 for all the scrap. Holds up the pistol frame. Hmm. Oh, and I found the gun parts too, that's right. Yeah. 100 for all that stuff. Holds up the pistol frame. Hmm. About 200 for this. <laughs> uh, you know, Chaos, he pays 340. Pace of the pistol frame, the rank, the, uh, the random scrap, and the toolbox. All right. 
Glad you're doing business with you. That's the pistol frame in the, in the toolbox. Come back anytime. Uh, that 100, that also included the uh, the gunsmithing parts, or was that? Yeah. Oh, nice. And I take it it's just random uh, gun parts that can be uh, synthesized into into guns that we find? Yeah. Basically, I char, it was five caps per each of scrap metal, and I gave you about 20 pieces. So it came out to an even hundred. So how much did we pay per total for everything? Well, you still have, you you have still yet to pay. Uh, the BB gun and the helmet. Oh yeah. Well, I was finding it for you. I was like, hey, do you want this? Oh. Yeah. How much? How much for the BB gun and the helmet? Uh, let's see. BB gun's in rough shape. I'm gonna need some work to get it going. But it's a limited edition Red Rider air rifle BB gun with the compass and the stock and the thing that tells time. Seriously? No. <laughs> I'm just like... No, it's a Walmart brand BB gun. Yeah, so 600 cabs. Anyway. <laughs> I was kind of like, really? You can tell that with a half blown off stock. No. <laughs> I'm trying to find a BB gun in the book. Uh... Actually, I had I had one pulled up. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's see. Damaged. About fifty for the BB gun. And that helmet. Let's see. Da <laughs> 100 for the helmet. So, an extra 150? Yeah. So, grand total, I paid him 490. Yeah. Alright, and I'll give him an extra 5, uh, an extra 10 stops around it off of hand as a tip. And for the pistol frame? Oh, I already paid for it. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. So, there you go. You guys have your haul. Sweet. So yeah, I'm gonna head on back to my. I'm gonna head on back to my van and notice that there are four people lined up for uh, lined up for transport. I'm like oh, nice. And start loading it, loading the scrap into the uh, side compartments of the of the truck in order for easy storage. Say for the uh, gun gunsmithing parts, those go off onto the bench along with the new tools, and uh, BB gun, uh, pistol frame, and the helmet. Yep. I mean, the helmet you can just melt down for scrap if you need to. Yeah, but you know, could be help. Could be helpful. Just uh, just uh, soup, just uh, backup armor. Glue on some padding on the insides and. Oh, Shaded Sands is two, two uh, hexes up? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know my character will have stuff to do when he gets to Redding since he has family there. Oh, yeah, just glue some uh, padding on the inside of the helmet. And Find a replacement visor for it. If you want, if you want the visor. <laughs> It, like the padding, like you don't even need, like you only need the padding for fitting, really. But it's just kind of like the visor. If you're gonna deflect bullets off your head, visor's not. No, really but, but wouldn't feel too good if you just have the pure metal. Well, that's why I said padding. And the visor will keep sand out of your eyes. Yeah. I mean, my guy has like the full head cover. You can't really see his face. Unless you're wearing an actual hat or armored 
headgear, you're not getting any defensive bonuses off of that. Well, no, he, yeah, he, 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 he has a, he, I have a metal helmet and a gas mask. Oh. Uh, look from the look from the metal helmet. Uh, Richard's hat, metal helmet. Richard's hat, metal helmet. Richard's hat. I wear an all I need. <laughs> Star looking around. Where's Jason? <laughs> Jason's back at the caravan. Okay. Uh, Jason have head gear? He's got a leather hat. Huh. Hmm. Look at Jason. Look at the metal helmet. Look at Jason. Look at the metal helmet. Hey, Jason. Hmm. Come in here. I got some fitting I want to do for you. What the hell are you talking about? Hold on. Uh, I mean, couldn't you just graft the metal cap to the metal helmet to have it be the padding? Eh, uh, probably. Like, found a metal helmet. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Like, you, you seem to be the only, the only one who would seem to wear it. I'm not, I'm not the type of person. Mm. 